Financial reporting and analysis is one of the top three most difficult areas on CFA level one and two exams. In this quick video, I'm going to show you how I believe that the Wiley uh, learning management system through its study guide, its videos, and its question bank can help you tackle this section on the exams. From module eight in the 2023 level one curriculum, we're going to look at two learning outcome statements, determine the initial recognition, initial measurement, and subsequent measurement of bonds, and describe the effective interest rate method and calculate interest expense, amortization of bond discounts and premiums, and interest payments. After looking at the learning outcome statements, we always start by scanning the official CFA curriculum here. And you can see there's a nice blue box example, and they have two examples of um, amortizing a bond at a premium and amortizing a bond at a discount. And then at the end of the chapter, there's some practice problems. Now looking at the Wiley study guide, you can see that there's a nice example here where they use the Allen company and they look at three scenarios to illustrate the differences in accounting and analysis of par bonds, premium bonds, and discount bonds under the effective interest rate method. Scenario B is a bond issued at a discount and the study guide takes you through the present value calculation of the bond and then there's a nice table where they show you the beginning liability, interest expense, coupon payment, change in liability, closing liability, all laid out with some special notes. And then there's important shortcuts and comparing the straight line method versus the effective method. Finally, the effects on the financial statements, balance sheet, income statement, and cash flows. Next, if you need more help, you can watch the video and the video will take you step by step through the exact same example that is in the study guide. Now let's get into the accounting of discount bonds. For discount bonds, the market in I sped the video up here, but William Glasser says that we learn 50% of what we see in here. So the videos are very good because it just walks you step by step. It has the transcripts. You can pause it, stop it. It's like having your own personal tutor on demand. If we then look at the CFA Institute end of module eight practice problems, we can see that questions four and five are much too easy. In question four, the coupon rate is higher than the interest rate. So it is issued at a premium. And in question number five, the coupon rate is less than the market rate, so it's issued at a discount. And so we can see that the three choices are only showing par, discount, and premium, so the question becomes very easy. No calculations are required. Question seven is also easy because the bond is paying an interest rate of 5.5%, and the market rate is 6%, so it's issued at a discount. And so the interest rate cannot be the coupon payment, and the cash flow is not the coupon payment, so only B can be correct. Question number eight is asking for the carrying value of the bond after one year. So speed is a skill, skill gets rewarded. That is working through the table as, is, as was shown in the study guide. There's four calculations required. For the two learning outcome statements, there are basically 13 practice problems at the end of the module. Number 11 is very mechanical. It's probably too long for an exam. Number 12 is a simple rule. And number 13 has, again, a fairly simplistic calculation. The Wiley Question Bank has over 5,200 questions, including the two mock exams. For financial reporting, there's over 1,000 questions. And for this module, there's 77 questions. In this Wiley Q Bank, it's asking you to compare the straight line method versus the effective interest rate method and the impact on profitability. So this is a lot different than we saw at the end of chapter in the official curriculum, but is likely something that you could see on the exam. So you need to practice, 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 which is why the Wiley Q Bank is so important for your CFA exam success. In summary, if you want to increase your probability for success on the CFA exams at any level, then you should consider investing 295 US dollars for the Prof. Ted and Wiley self-study system. For level one, you get an ebook study guide covering every learning outcome statement, over 5,000 exam type questions, including the two mock exams, 90 plus hours of the video lectures, the course outline, the exam planner, 30 to 45 minute bite-sized lessons, the dashboard performance metrics, 90 plus pages of formula sheets, the Wiley mobile app, and the adaptive review. Good luck with your CFA exam studying. Thank you and have a nice day.